It's a kind of sad story as well. It's like a classic uh, imposter syndrome story. Well, you know the drill, right? They call you 45 minutes before the press conference. And those 45 minutes is sort of the last 45 peaceful moments in your life. I was lying in bed and I'm, I'm usually an early riser. Uh, but this day, for some reason, I was, I was slept in. 10 minutes after the call, Professor Hansen called me again and said, uh, Professor List, do you happen to have the phone number of Professor McMillan? Because we don't seem to reach him. And my wife got up and she could hear my phone buzzing. It was about 5.30 in the morning. And she was kind of annoyed, but it kept buzzing and she got up and she goes, it says here, Ben List is trying to con contact you. <laughs> and then there's a number that says someone who's from Sweden. And I'm like, what? And then a minute later, he calls me and he's a little bit, um, I don't know, a bit tired because it's in the middle of, of the night at the East Coast in the United States. And I told him, Dave, I just received an important call from, from Stockholm and they also tried to reach you, so you better pick up. <laughs> and then, but he goes, no, I, I really, really don't believe this. I have some ex-students who are in Sweden. I'm like, this is, and my group are a very mischievous group. And you could, they're the kind of group that would always be up to pranks. I'm like, this is a, this is a prank. Uh, they're definitely sort of doing this. And I've either sort of cajoled Ben less than he's doing this, or they're sort of, he's part of the prank. For a moment, I was a bit confused. Maybe he's right, right? But, but I, I told him, um, well, if it's a prank, it's a really good one. So we hang up. And he sends another text saying, Ben, I, I, <clears throat> I'm really sorry, but this is a prank. I bet a thousand dollars against uh, this is happening. Okay. And I said, okay, I take it. And then I literally switched my phone off and went back to sleep. <laughs> so I went back to sleep. And, and he still owes me the thousand dollars now. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to pay him in pennies or if I'm going to get one of, one of these big checks this size. Uh, but I'm definitely going to pay him. It'll be the, the happiest I've ever been to pay someone a thousand dollars.